New at 11 tonight, parents react to a drug bust at a local school. We first told you about this story on Eyewitness News at 6. And new tonight, a mother weighs in on the safety of her child while at school. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner has the story now from the South County Mobile Newsroom in Richmond. The district superintendent tells me Richmond police believe they have put a stop to this drug candy supply. The question now, where did it come from? The Cherahoe Regional School District is now talking to Eyewitness News about two separate incidents at its middle and high schools. Three 14-year-old students now charged. In late March at the middle school, a student reportedly became ill after consuming what officials are calling marijuana candy. The alleged juvenile distributor arrested. The very same day at Cherahoe High School, more candy found. Police say it tested positive for traces of meth. Two more charged. I'm not sure the students themselves are the producers. I think there may be other producers that the police are investigating. In the high school, incident administrators say surveillance video captured a hallway drug deal with the illegal candy and unprescribed attention deficit medication found on one of the 14-year-olds. The district will take the action that's called for in the code of conduct. And um, we've been really firm that if there's a second offense, the student is removed from school. High school parent Juliana Golis calls the alleged drug activity very concerning. When they're independent, you hope that they make the right choices. Um, and there's always lures out there that could lead them the other way. Every generation has a challenge. The students implicated are now charged with varying counts of distribution and or possession. The drug candy, meanwhile, is undergoing further testing. The superintendent did not disclose the suspect's genders or elaborate on any potential disciplinary action. In Richmond with the South County Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.